Viscosity is how thick your beard oil is, and it absolutely should be a factor that you consider when you're planning out how much beard oil you are going to use. Another thing you should consider is hitting a thumbs up on the video if you like beards. Welcome in, guys. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and my subscribers have given me the nickname, the trusted teacher for all things beard related. I recently put out a video that I'm really proud of, and it breaks down why so many guys are using too much beard oil, and it gives you some general rules on how much you should be using. Based on things like your beard length and your porosity, I'll put a tag and a link to it in the corner right now, so if you want to check that one, go watch it, come back into this video and finish it off. But I decided I was going to turn that into a series. People really like that. And there's a lot of details we can break down of how much beard oil you should be using. And the thickness of the oil really does play a part. And that's what this video is all about. So if you guys like this stuff and you like the channel, consider subscribing. That does help me out a lot. And it really is greatly appreciated. We've recently hit 25,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. Check out the video. And at any time, please leave a comment down below, leaving your thoughts or anything any questions you have. The viscosity or thickness of your beard oils are always going to be determined by the individual carriers and the potency that make up that bottle of beard oil. Now, when it comes to thick oils, it generally lends itself to a stickier oil as well. So please keep that in mind. Now, some of the thickest oils we see out there is castor oil, jojoba oil. Those ones have some body, some stickiness to it. Some of the thinnest ones we see out there would be grapeseed oil, fractionated coconut oil, sweet almond oil. And then we have a lot that are kind of in the middle, like argan oil or metal foam seed oil. And a really good carrier blend is going to be a mixture of all of those types, but it depends where they fall on the list. If you read the ingredient list on a bottle of beard oil, the ones that are at the top is what is the most potent. It has the most in this bottle, and that's going to make all the difference in the world. Now, really important here, cutting right to the chase, a general rule, the thicker the oil is, the less you need to use. The thinner the oil is, usually the more you need to use. Now I'm gonna give you some examples of some thick down to thin oils that you can relate to. And in the description, I'm gonna break down my affiliate discount codes where you guys can save money if you order from these companies that I love and support and it supports this channel as well. And I'm gonna break them down from the thickest to the thinnest or kind of put them in categories. And these ones over here, I'm just gonna kind of give you some examples. Now this is well known. The thickest oil that I have ever tried that you guys have ever tried likely is Arteus Man. So Arteus Man is a really quality company. It is not something that I personally wear. It is too thick for my beard. That stickiness really gets to my thick, dense beard and it doesn't help me. I know other guys with thick, dense beards that love it. I know guys with short beards that rave about it. Absolute quality, but it's really thick. The number one most important, the most potent, important, I guess it's important too. The most potent ingredient in this bottle of beard oil is castor oil. The thickest carrier that we see that we know is what makes up this bottle the most. So if you're looking to try something thick, it's Arteus Man. And a lot of people talk about this a little bit going a long way. Well, they're right. The thicker the oil, the less you need to use. Now we're going to get kind of in the middle here. Another company that's on the thicker side is Norseman's Beard Co. Now this is one that I recommend to a lot of gray beardsmen out there. Gray beards are missing that outer layer of protection, castor, thicker oils do a great job of coating the hair and mimicking that real protection layer that they're missing. So Norseman has a thick oil, but it is nowhere near Arteus Man. Arteus Man is kind of on its own island for thickness, and that's great for them. If somebody loves thick oil, they know where to go. So with this Norseman Beard Co. and their ingredients, the first one we have is sweet almond oil, Second one we have is jojoba oil and castor oil. So sweet almond oil is not a thick oil. It's not the thinnest out there, but it's not a thick one. 
but it's followed up by a mixture of castor and jojoba. So when you have close to two thirds probably of this bottle with thicker oils, it's definitely thick here. So if you're looking for one that isn't quite as thick as Ardeus Mint, you can go with something like Norse Mint. Now one that would be smack dab in the middle is one that I've been using a ton lately, and that is that Whiskey and Hardtack. Now they have ingredients like sunflower oil, meadow foam seed oil, shayna oil, but they also have some of that jojoba in there to give it a little bit of body on the thicker side. Meadow foam seed oil is definitely in that middle range. So this one to me is the most like my sebum oil. This is the most natural. Uh, it's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's pretty darn natural for me. And I really love that one. Now, this would be one that is on the very thin side, but I also love thin oils. That means I get to use a little bit more, get some more scent out of it. And that would be one like Beard Octane. Beard Octane has a thin oil. It's not like water, but it's definitely not something that's sticky and real thick here. And the ingredients that we're looking at, fractionated coconut oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, got some jojoba in there to give it a little bit of body, and aloe extract with a little bit of vitamin E. So most of those are on the lighter side, but you get some thickness as you go down the list. Now, it's all about what you need to figure out for your beard. I use more of Beard Octane's beard oil in terms of drops, in terms of the size of dropper, as compared to Norseman. If I'm gonna use Norseman's beard coat, I'm gonna use about three-fourths of a dropper. If I'm gonna use Beard Octane, I'll use a full to a full and a quarter. Sometimes I'll take an oil like Norseman or Fable and I'll use half a dropper of theirs and then I'll put in an unscented Beard Octane and use another half a dropper and get that perfect mix for me. Something to play around with. Think about that, guys. Let it absorb. I'm going to come back with a conclusion and get your thoughts on this. Conclusion. In terms of thickness, in terms of viscosity, what are your observations? What are your experiences when it comes to applying beard oil? Do you agree that you use less beard oil when it's a thicker version? Do you agree that you use more beard oil when it is a thin version? What about the stickiness of it? One thing for me, when a beard oil is really sticky, it doesn't spread throughout my beard as evenly or as well. So you got to take that into consideration. So think about when we talk in regards to this whole series of using too much beard oil, maybe it's because you have a thick oil. Something to consider there, and I urge you guys, please read the comments. There are going to be a lot of guys that have years and years of experience that have tried hundreds of different beard products, and they can give you some valuable insight that I promise will be down in the comments below because they are phenomenal. So leave the comments with your observations and experiences. I know I'm excited to learn and read from them as well, but general rule of thumb, the thicker it is, the less you use. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I have a couple more planned as long as everything things going well and you guys are liking them. My name one more time, Dan C. Bearded. I hope that you guys stay bearded and stay positive.